Hey everybody, welcome back. It's uh, Captain of Industry. Hope you're having a great day today. Uh, we're gonna start things off, just like I said we would, with the beacon. We really need it bad. And I'm gonna actually take this beacon, I'm gonna put it right here. In this little corner here, nested right there. Uh, and we're gonna have that be, I think, prioritized. Now, it's gonna take power, but it's not gonna have any power yet. Because we have a worker shortage, the diesel generator actually has nobody working there, therefore it's not generating any power, which also means that uh, the maintenance depot is not actually working either. So we're going to go ahead and pause that. It's going to help us with our unity problem maybe too, uh, although I don't think it was using any. I think maintenance uses unity, at least I thought it did. Maybe it doesn't anymore. Uh, and then so to solve the worker issue temporarily, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and shut down this blast furnace. Now that blast furnace being shut down means there's a little bit of extra labor that can go in and work at this diesel generator. So it's there and the beacon is getting constructed. We've already delivered most of the stuff. We just need the, mach the uh, machine parts. So good. Uh, the construction parts, which of course requires, what are you, what are you waiting for? Ah, the metal scrap. Gotcha. Uh, so we're going to keep hammering away at that. Now that's probably going to stop our iron mining a little bit too. Uh, but that's going okay now uh, with the ramp and everything already designated here. We're going to need to do a bit more to prepare for more people, right? So when this is built, people are going to start coming. And, you know, refugees and other people who are traveling, they're going to see this beacon and they're going to come over and be like, hey, can I join, right? So uh, what we're going to want is another settlement, right? I got to figure out where the heck it is, right here. And... I think I'm gonna put it over here. That's gonna create, because otherwise, if I don't do this, what we'll end up with is we'll go from having a worker shortage to a housing shortage, right? And then we'll have homeless people, which is gonna really hit our unity, and we don't want that. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get uh, another settlement here too. Now, when that happens, we're also gonna need to probably think about getting more food. We're at 39 months of food supply. We're not, I'm not seeing the supply go up very fast. And that's got me a little bit concerned. Um, what I'd like to do to help with that a little bit is to get extra storage. And I don't know exactly where I should put this, but I feel like I just want it nearby. Um, and I'm going to have food stored in here, hopefully. No. Nope. Yep, right here, food. So I just want another place to put food. And um, with that, we're also going to have one more farm. And I know that... You know, there might be some people who are like, you can just put that right up next to it, no problem. But I, I don't actually know that. Uh, I don't I don't know that. Um, so I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap and I'm only gonna do that just in case I need to hook up like water lines and stuff for irrigation, right? So I don't know exactly know where that's gonna hook up. I don't know where those are. So I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space so that I know I can do it. And that's why these are spaced out a little bit. Uh, now this is, this is going to harvest pretty soon, which is, which is great. Um, and these are actually on alternating schedules anyway. So staggering, these didn't really do anything <laughs> fair. I mean, they're going to be staggered anyway like that. So whatever. Uh, so we'll have potatoes go first, followed by this, followed by this, followed by this. Okay. So when they build this, of course, we're not, we're not going to have the, the workers for that either. So now that the beacon is done. We have one person working here. This is sucking down unity every month, one unity. So we're losing unity, but in two months, we're gonna have 16 people show up. We have capacity for that. We don't really have capacity for 16 more after that though, which is why that's being dropped in. Okay, so once that happens, we'll have enough labor for this extra farm and everything should theoretically be all right, right? And you can see that the water level is going up here. Even before they build it, the water level is rising. So that's good. So. The next thing I want to look at is, um, and they're also building these storages too, which are nice. Um, this storage is going to be for copper, concrete slabs, and wood. I don't know exactly if we're going to need copper. In fact, what I should probably do is this, uh, you. Yeah, so we build construction parts too by having construction parts plus copper, and that goes into another assembly there. So, uh, and this is an electric. We need the electric assembly for this. So we're gonna need, you know, of course, power. Um, so I won't need extra wood here. So what I'm gonna need, instead of concrete slab here, what I'm gonna need is, kind of ruins my, does that ruin my plans? Hang on. How much do you need? You're gonna take eight. Okay, okay. So no, I think 
this goes back to being iron. Yeah. Iron, concrete slab, and wood. Because we're going to need more of these. Um, we don't we don't have enough of these. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and clone this really quick and bring it over here. And let's just say... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's say we need one more of these. That's just got to happen, man. Um, we'll pause it for now, but that's just got to happen. So we'll have these two making the construction parts to then make the golden ones or the yellow ones or the level two ones right here. Um, and then this one will just be dedicated to making the other ones, right? Um, we're going to need more coal to be produced as well. I think I might go ahead and start that as well. Just kind of going like this. And all I need to do for this is just to kind of put this right up next to here and here. And then for transport, right? We just do the same thing we were doing before, right? We want to lift this up, put it into that, just like that. And then you get lifted up, put it into that. And there we go. Okay. So that'll, that'll aid to uh, producing more coal. And then we're probably gonna need to mark more trees as well. So I'm just gonna like, I don't know, just blanket this whole place. So there's just this mass deforestation. <laughs> cause that's, cause that's good. Okay. So we just had, we just had a population increase. Very good. We don't have a worker shortage anymore. We can go ahead and uh, flip that back on. There we go. And I can also probably put that back on. Now everything is working as planned, right? Good. That means the iron and stuff can go get delivered again, hopefully. Oh, you're back on scrap, huh? That's weird. Weird. Okay. Um, I want you to switch to this. Please switch to that formula. And um, you need to switch to this formula too. Yeah, so you should, you should be doing this one, not the other one. There we go. Is that better? Uh, this truck carries 18 with it, so it should be able to drop off 9 and 9, possibly. I guess it's going to dump all of it in there, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's going to use 9, and then it's going to use the next 9, so it's fine. So, uh, these should all be going again. Good. We are going to get the next stage of our, uh, our, in, our intake of people is going to start again in three months, and that's 16 refugees. Once that happens, I'm gonna shift, uh, I'm gonna turn off the beacon because we don't need it anymore. We only need that when we need people. Uh, so this is gonna hopefully, this is gonna have food in it. I don't need to keep it full, but I wanna make sure that if we're overproducing food, it goes, you know, somewhere nearby. I know this can hold a lot of food, but like I'm hoping to overproduce to where this is always full. And then like we need extra storage is what I'm hoping for. So redundancy is what I'm trying to build into this thing. Uh, okay, so the next item up for bids here, or the next uh, problem we're gonna run into here involves concrete slabs. Each one of these assemblies are sucking down concrete slabs and they don't have all that many left. Inside the storage, this is empty and this is getting close. So we're gonna run out of concrete slabs. So let's take a look really quick at what that entails. We unlocked it before right here concrete production and we need a mixer and then we need cement slag crushed and water so water is the thing i can address but i also kind of want to address everything else so um, i think for concrete what we should do kind of want to tie it into the existing production line because i know conveyor belts and stuff is coming and i'm spacing this stuff out because i know conveyor belts are coming right so i'm kind of kind of trying to play a little bit ahead i don't know how it's going to work out i might not have spaced it out enough but we'll see so i think we're going to want the concrete mix mixer i get take cement crushed slag uh and water and that generates concrete slabs and it looks like it's going to generate eight every 40 seconds these two are using two every 30 seconds. All right, so we can afford, we can afford to supply three of these assemblies with a single concrete mixer, I think. So that's what we're gonna try to do. And we're gonna put it, I think, right about, uh, let's go with,
All right, so we're going to take this concrete mixer here, and I think we'll place it right about here. I kind of want two of them, to be honest. Like, I know we can overproduce concrete. I'm pretty sure we will be able to I, eventually. I don't even know if it'll be right away, but eventually. So I think I'm going to place you here. I don't want to go right next to this thing. I also want to leave room for another one if I need to. So maybe we'll just be like, yeah, really, maybe like right about here. Okay. Then we're going to add a little bit of a space because you can see where the water comes in. It's on the side and I don't want to be right next to it. So, uh, again, it's going back to leaving some space for stuff later on. So, uh, we got two concrete mixers. I'm gonna turn the first one off for construction. We're gonna have this one built. And again, the inputs, cement, slag, crush, and water. So we're gonna need crushed slag. And that, I think, this is a fluid storage. We could probably store fluid in here or water in here, which is pretty good. Um, so we're gonna want to, where does that go in at? Oh, it's right there, of course. Um, so I think we're gonna want to have some sort of water supply. Maybe over here is fine. Although, hmm. Maybe we should think about the water first, actually. Because that's, that's interesting where it has to go in. So I want to catch some rainwater over here. And maybe we do it... Uh, well, I was going to say we could do it behind these things. But that's kind of cutting it close. And I don't know how much this can collect either. So it has a small, built-in small water tank, but... Uh, what if, hmm, what if we put it over on the side like this? This might be okay. What if we put it here and here? This is going to give us two rain catchers, which is right over here. And this can provide water to the whole workflow, right? If we did that, then we could get the crushers, right? I don't remember where it is. I'm looking for the crusher right now. Crusher right here. Uh, so the crusher does what? Every 20 seconds. Eight every 20 seconds. So that we only need one of these for two of these. So we're going to go to maybe like this. I think. Gosh, that seems... Doesn't seem as good, does it? I think it'll be okay. Maybe I could do it off to the side like this. And then the conveyor belt can bring it up that way. So I'm thinking I maybe it'll even this way because it's closer to the mines. Yeah, maybe we'll do it like here. So let's say we put this like this. Right, and from the direction of the mines, right? Um, we can then take the pipes and we're going to need to connect these pipes up. So I'm going to connect them all the way up like this. Uh, like that. And then we're going to raise them. Just like so about like that right and then um we'll go ahead and take you and bring you all the way over cannot join to a ramp oh all right no problem um we'll start again and we'll just have the pipe go like this yep we'll go about like that yep uh good and then you will go over join there we go and then we'll ramp up so we'll ramp up to get up high about like that come on over now this is of course allowing trucks to pass to pass in pass through whatever right um so we're gonna go straight to about here i guess uh this should be fine i think and then straight over this way and then what i can do i think from this point we need to go Cross like this and then over. Oh, one more. Then over like that. Okay. Uh, and then on this side, probably won't let me do this because I can't join at a ramp. Okay. So I, I didn't learn my lesson from the first time. Don't make me delete the whole thing. Don't make me delete the whole thing. No. Okay. Hang on. I got an idea. What if I was to join here? What if I join here? Come on. You gotta be kidding me here. Like that. Can I delete half this now? Just curious. Okay, good. That's pretty cool. Uh, then I have to delete the whole thing there. And I, kill, I still can't join at the hip here. <laughs> I don't like this system, right? This system sucks. All right, you suck. 
system. Okay, so I messed it up before. Uh, anyway, I need, a, I need another tank in here. So I'm going to actually put this tank here like this. Uh, and then we're going to come over here, about here. All right, we're going to do it right this time. Okay, everything's going to be okay this time, I swear. Uh, we're going to come over to about this point. Then we're going to drop it down to here and then over. Perfect. Uh, and then this tank will start from here. Yep, and then we'll bring it over. Uh, let's lift it up. There we go. I don't want this extra extra post here. That's a little bit weird. I don't need that extra thing. Maybe we'll come around from this side then. It's a little extra piping, but it doesn't get in the way of this, which might be uh, an advantage. So we're going to bring it over like this and then duck it down. And I guess it's got to be here, right? There. So there's the water system that goes for the concrete, okay? And uh, and it's gonna, so these two rain catchers are gonna catch as much as they can, and they're gonna dump it into this. Now this comes out one just for the pipe to this, but then there's also this door, which is totally available for any of the trucks to grab. I believe the trucks will be able to get it out of this. I believe. <laughs> and so uh, then they'll be able to bring it over here potentially, or I can set up the irrigation system off of this with another assortment of rain catchers or something later on. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna build our concrete facilities kind of like this. Now, the crusher initially, the trucks are gonna have to take it out of this and put it into these machines manually. But this is picked up and high. It's it's high up like this in hopes that I'll be able to get the conveyor belts to come and do it later on once I get conveyor belts. So uh, that's that's the idea here. We're gonna be using a lot of construction parts. So I need these things working like overtime, dude. I need to create a lot more. Uh, do we have extra iron at the moment? We have a lot of extra iron. Um, we don't have an extra, a lot of extra iron ore, but we have a lot of extra iron. You're missing inputs. Why are both of you missing inputs? You shouldn't be missing your inputs. What's this all about? Is it just, is it the iron ore? Cause that's silly, we have it. There you go. Maybe you're prioritizing it to where you're doing this one first and then this, I don't know. I don't know what you were doing there. Uh, okay, now it says we don't have enough housing. So we just got new people. Let's go ahead and turn off the beacon. We don't need it anymore. And this is the biggest priority, at least it should be. I don't think it's prioritized actually. Crap. So all those construction parts should be going here to expand our city, right? That's what I'm trying to do anyway. And uh, again, we're gonna have a hard time making construction parts if we don't get on the concrete situation, which is what I'm trying to do here. Um, we don't need the food like in a dire way yet. We are producing enough food here and we will be harvesting this pretty soon. Although this is just grass, but this is getting harvested and this is actually food. So now they are on the same schedule. Um, and then this one here will start with potatoes as well. So now it's just a matter of waiting to get all of this stuff built, okay? That's what I'm up to right now. And um, this is sand. Oh, good, you're just gonna sit here with sand. I don't I don't know if I, if I like this system. I'm just gonna point it out. I don't know if I like this whole dumping ground thing and how it doesn't have sand included in it right away. Uh, I think slag crush should totally not be dumped here. Um, neither should slag, honestly. Although, can we grab it from this? Can they take slag from this? I don't have any way of storing it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no on this um, because I'm gonna start crushing the slag, so I don't want them to do that. But I'm definitely gonna add sand to this list because like if they just if he scoops up sand, then of course yeah, see that if he's scooping up sand, then I, I want him to make sure that he's dumping it right. All right, so we got 21 available workers now. Now it's just a matter of getting everything built for them. And uh, this will bring us to 120. Well, we're at uh, we're at 122 population. The, this settlement here, this food market, can actually ch handle, I think, more than this. Um, at the moment, it's uh, handling has uh, up to 120, but I think it can handle more than that. We have 51 months of food, so we're we're super good on food. I'm not sure what you're doing. Are you just? 
Go get trees. You just you're just gonna sit there. Go get trees. Hit the wood. All right, I'm gonna let this run until we get some of this stuff built. And uh, we have the population up already, and so I need to start making uh, need to start making concrete, and that's what these are for. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, stuff's been uh, been building. We got slag being delivered to the new crusher. So that's cool. Crushed slag being delivered. The concrete mixer, at least one of them is up. It's missing the water input. It's, it's got everything else, I think. Or at least it's about to have the, the slag and everything. And uh, we're getting the pipes and stuff built so that the water can be transported there. As well as the fluid storage here. It's a little bit delayed, but that's okay. The rain catcher is going to collect water in the meantime because it's already built. And then this one here started construction with the wood, but I stopped it because I really wanted them to focus this uh I, I really wanted them to focus though this whole workflow right uh so i don't need another one i can only i the one is fine for now i am kind of interested into as to where this water keeps going um it, it's it, you can see it going through the pipe which is kind of cool as it flows through the pipe when it's raining but i mean maybe they're taking it to bring it somewhere else maybe the trucks can actually move it um Unless they're moving it to the fields and I just don't know it, which I don't believe they are because if they were then this water would be going up Not down right now This has a lot of this has a like a lot of water just stored in it right now, which is kind of cool uh, Okay, so all of this is built. So now uh, any excess water can be delivered here But we can also you know get a whole bunch of I, I don't actually know if we even need this tank but I can also uh, hook up other types of water sources uh, to the tank as well. So it's, it's going to serve as just a general water tank that can service the area that needs it, I guess. Again, I'm not entirely sure what's optimal and what's not. But uh, the important thing is that this is now being created. So we have now we now have a workflow as slow as it is, a workflow that that actually gives us concrete slabs, and we're getting it pretty much as we're out. Yeah, we're now, the storage for this is basically empty now. So now it's all about what's left over inside these assemblies. And as long as this keeps purring away, we should be creating eight every 40 seconds. And we are currently using, uh, looks like four every 30 seconds. So we should be slowly building up an excess supply here. And then once we have these storages kind of full, we'll go ahead and get these buildings built. That should, that should work just fine. Um, I would like to, I think I would like to see this stuff start getting constructed, but of course the construction parts have been prioritized towards other things in the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and unpause this so it can start going here too. Um, we've obviously got the settlement done, so we're not dealing with any type of homelessness anymore. And, uh, this can handle up to 180. It looks like, although that might just be it telling me how many I think that's what it is. Like this is my capacity in the in the settlement entirely. But how much food can this actually support? I, I don't I don't know that part. So we'll have to see. If I click population overview, you can see we're gaining plus one unity for the food, but we're using 0.25 uh, in the research lab, and then um, we probably have other things. Maybe they're using it too. I'm not not sure because this says zero per month, so it's unclear. Uh, probably the maintenance. I thought maintenance used it. I'm I'm just I guess I'm just not seeing that correctly because this looks like ju it's just power, not not actually unity. So okay. We have both wa rain catchers now, which is good. Um, they should funnel water into the fluid storage. I think. I don't know that. And of course, then it all gets uh, it all gets sucked up by the concrete mixer after that. There's the rain. So I, I want I want to just see this work is what I want to see. So the water comes into the tank, right? It's already getting sucked out here. Uh, we are starting to build up a little bit of a surplus, though. That's what I wanted to see. Surplus building up there. Good. And uh, And then the trucks can take it from this and use it however they want. But they're not. We're not getting any, anything built up here, and then eventually, I think it'll start pulling it off of this. 
but it, it works all right maybe it's not effective maybe i don't even need this um this tank but it does work the way it is okay so we're making concrete perfect now next thing we need to look at is we, we could look at copper we could uh refining copper because this will give us the level two construction parts or we could look at diesel and i think maybe that's more important is looking at diesel that just got finished we're also going to be looking at cement production soon and this one is kind of a challenging little workflow it's pretty expensive and we're going to need to start mining limestone so we could also start looking into that later too but i think maybe the fuel is a pretty important thing here so why don't we go ahead and take a look at what's needed for that we have the oil pump which will pump four oil every 20 seconds that's what it provides and then there's the basic distiller which requires coal along with 12 oil every 20 seconds um so that's looking like three oil pumps for one distiller so if i take a look at this area i'm not sure how i how well i can just jam them all in there uh, but we might be able to get away with just on the very edge there one two and three so i'm noticing the pipes are coming off this side and i can put them in a line this way and then that allows me to to connect them with a pipe this way so then if i take this distiller uh let's see if you're gonna need to get rid of steam too so uh is this really like it should i do this this far away well i don't have a choice right the oil is here so i guess um uh, i'm thinking about doing it over maybe on this side um can i just leave this open for now so i can see maybe it's better to do it over here that way i can have room to put more oil pumps in and i don't even know if the oil is infinite or not i i don't think so i think we're gonna know i think we're gonna see this oil get uh i think it will i think the oil will get depleted over time but we'll address that once it once we need to so i think i'll put this over here like this uh they're gonna need to bring me coal i think i'll put it over here like this and coal's gonna have to be brought in from afar so they'll be they'll be doing that i am i'm in the process of building those extra coal right that's almost done so uh get rid of this yeah right here you can see this is almost done and then we're gonna start making even more coal here it's all hooked up to the same steam the same exhaust so shouldn't be a problem i think we can all handle that one um so we'll take uh the distiller is here and so now we just need transport so looks like we have a liquid dump now it allows liquid dumping into ocean some liquid will cause water pollution which can affect health and happiness of your people so i'm not sure why we would want to do access water over in this area at least not yet um maybe that's something that's useful once we start making concrete potentially um, but for now i don't think we need that um i will need a smokestack though and uh I'm kind of feeling like maybe I just place it here, like right up against this. You could leave one, but why? I don't think I need that. So we'll just pipe this to here. Uh, then the fuel could go into fuel storage. So we'll probably want a storage unit or a unit. Yeah, storage unit. That's what I said. Um, probably want a storage here. And then this is wastewater. Ah, wastewater coming on this side okay um so that changes where i want to put this so rather than putting it here um maybe we have this store oil that's probably a better option right we could have this maybe go here like this i like this we go about like here and then we'll have the pipes come from here all the way over and um Maybe I need to go out one. It looks like maybe that would be best. All the way out like this and then over like so. All right. And then this pipe can connect like so. And then this pipe can connect like so. I'm not sure if there's a throughput limit on the pipes, but this will pump it into here first. There we go. Uh, and then we can let that happen because they can, they can just start running to start us off uh and then when we go to create fuel 
with the distiller. We could then have that be over here. Yep, I think maybe just we can just hook it up right to it, right? No, we don't want to block. I don't want to block things. Um, let's actually do it like right here. That's better. That's fine. Um, and then we'll take the pipe and we'll run it this way and then over like that. And then from there, after we distill it, right, we still need the uh, still need the steam smokestack, right? So we'll just place this right next to it. I'm, I'm okay with that. Although if we want two distilleries, well, yeah, if we want two distilleries, we should probably position this a little bit easier for that to happen. So, uh, of course, we can always go around the back with that. Yeah, we'll just go around the back with it. It's fine. Because um, it can always just whip around and then go over top of this door and hook up to the regular. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll make that work later on. Let's just do that. Okay. Uh, next, we want uh, two things. We want the fluid storage for fuel. And we can place that, I think, right here. This should be fine. All the fuel can be can be gathered from over here. So we'll do that with the fuel. And then the fuel will then go ahead and... Oh, where the heck is it? Not the pipes. I was looking for the, the water dump thing, but it's okay. We'll have this be connected like that. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, if we do another one, which we probably will have to, uh, then we'll have that connect on the other side. That was a really short rain, wasn't it? Um, now we need the water dump is it here. Rainwater harvester. No. Where did that go? That's here somewhere. Where'd you go? Waste. Oh, it's in the waste. Okay. So this goes on this side. Okay. And then we just place this kind of as far over as possible. That's fine. And then finally we take the pipe and we'll run it from here all the way out to here. And then... Maybe we'll come over one and then down. And then uh, if we ever hook up the other one, it can come uh, maybe like around and then hook up to this pipe. Okay, good. So we should be pumping oil and indeed we are. We don't have anywhere to put it yet though. So it's the small internal tank I think is where it's being kept now. So I really need that done. And then uh, we'll get the rest of it going after that. And then we may need more power. We'll see. Because I think this thing's probably going to need power. I would I would think the distiller needs power. Yeah, this needs to be done first, guys. The the tank, not the other things. Diesel production tutorial. You know, I'll I'll take a look at that. I don't. Uh, I think I think I'm fine here though. I, I think I figured it out. Uh, I have never done this yet, but I I think I figured it out. So oil pump. Yep. Resources overlay at the bottom. Waste products, smokestack, liquids in the ocean dump. Be careful as pollution may affect the health of your population. Yeah. I don't know if we have like a current, you know, in the game. Like, is that built into the game? So like if I, if I knew that the water was traveling this direction, I mean, we're not, we're not currently pumping water out of the ocean. So I'm not sure how that would affect our health. Uh, I guess, of course, it, maybe people are bathing in the water. That I guess that would do it. But, um, you know, currently all of our drinking water and stuff is, is being rain gathered guess uh, and you can see that we've got uh, 32 in this tank so that's nice and if we get an additional rain catcher then we can store additional water which maybe i could do and if it lets me it won't um uh, maybe i can go on this side yeah i could store it over here uh, i could actually maybe get away with this this isn't too crowded it's not too crowded i could get away with that um, but I'm looking like what's what's the irrigation system I'm gonna be running with right what what's the plan on irrigation when it comes to the farms because that's gonna be something that we do pretty quick here irrigated farms is on the list four, four more research is down uh, and then cement production is just now starting that's gonna be complicated uh-huh uh, all right cool so we just got a new storage building and I've really been wanting this building for a while uh, we just got this loose storage this is a very important building because it's going to let me store a whole bunch of this iron without having to wait for these guys to request it. And uh, so I want iron ore like all up in here, right? So I'm thinking I want iron ore. I want like two iron ore tanks, to be honest. It probably would be cool to have this be 
could be like nested in here, but then the trucks have to be able to reach it. So I can't do that. Maybe I just have to do it like this. Uh, both of these are just going to be iron. How much do you store? It was up to 180 units of loose product. Okay, I, I like the idea of maybe having two of these. So we'll go one and two. Not really centered, but uh, you can't really do that very easily in this game anyway. Uh, and then for transports, um, we actually don't have a way to transport that. So for now, it'll just be storage, but I, it's spaced out to where we could get conveyor belts in there. And, uh, and that should take care of it. Um, we do have to be careful, though, that we don't block this. So this would actually block this off, and the trucks wouldn't be able to get in here anymore. That's a problem. So let's just back up a little bit here. I think we'll just go ahead and do something like this instead. We can just... Like that? Just butt right up against it? Maybe that's the solution. Then we don't need to have any... Yeah, why not? I mean... The only downside of doing it this way is that if I fill these with iron, I can't switch them to copper very easily later. Um, to where I'd have to switch the storage, which I guess wouldn't be a big deal. Um, so iron ore is going to be in this one and iron ore is going to be in this one. And uh, once that's done, we can just continuously deliver it over here. We're starting to do okay on mining here, although it looks like our excavator has gone for fuel yeah i need to do something about that too they do have fuel stations that we can build later it's it's not researched yet but i, I did notice it somewhere all right we just got this warning that says low diesel so we are going to need we're gonna need this to be set up now the fuel the oil is going into storage so we're not wasting our time here now this is happening which is great um, I would like this to be set up, but this is now the bigger priority. I need this to be done, and I also need this to be done. So all the construction parts need to be coming right here. Uh, hopefully they do this one first. Maybe we just make sure that they do, because this one should have an internal storage anyway, and then it's gonna get kicked out here, and that will give us the diesel that we need. Yes. I'm not sure why I would wanna store wastewater, but um, you know, I guess maybe. And adds to two water pollution. Okay, so hopefully they get on that and build it quickly. <laughs> uh, we are collecting collecting water again. I, this is probably a waste. I feel a little bit weird about it, especially considering I'm gonna, you know, have another concrete mixer that's gonna suck even more water. Four every forty seconds. So this is gonna be eight every forty seconds. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it is technically filling up slightly, so maybe it's okay. Uh, and then they're building these two. So let me just let these run really quick. I need all this stuff to build. It's going to take a bit, but it'll be nice once it's done. I'll see you guys in a second. Um, I actually... Oh, I need, I need to bring people in. Hang on. Before I do that, I need to bring people in because I'm going to have no workers, and this is going to take six. So we need the beacon to attract some more refugees. So I'll have the beacon running, we'll have this building, and we will not run on a diesel, hopefully. We only have 63 left, but we're not going to run out because we're going to build it right here. So I'll, I'll, I'll be up there and ready to rock very soon. Okay, our population just increased. Very good. We have all the workers we need. Let's go ahead and switch that off. And uh, we now have basic distiller. It's up and running, but we're now low on power. So now that we have diesel and we're generating, we're making diesel, now what we can do, we need to have another diesel generator, but I think fuel can be automatically brought into these generators. Um, so we could, if we want to now set up this extra generator, the second generator, I could put this kind of like, maybe nestle it right here just to get uh, some extra power. And then we could take this uh, uh, a transport. We could take this pipe right here and just bring it right to this diesel generator. And this will just give us power when we need it most. So I'm gonna take you and shut you off. And hopefully that will provide power for everything else that needs it. Also gonna kill the crusher here for power. And man, we just don't have, we don't have anything working here. It's because you don't have any fuel left. So did we run out of... I think we ran out of diesel at the very moment. And because we have a storage tank with oil in it, 
we can we can make it from this and get it in here and now that can be transported so i think we basically just barely made it is what i'm saying cement production research is done and i think now we start conveyor belts good all right that's what we need so once the conveyor belts are done everything becomes way more productive uh, we're gonna finally be able to deliver the iron to the tanks i've moved the tanks back actually instead of having them built right here and i did that because i remembered that this intake here is actually not just for iron it's also for coal and so these coal producers here can also we're going to get a, a, a belt that comes through here and i may need to move this pipe a little bit to do that but we're going to get a belt that comes out and moves this way and it's going to come up and just drop the coal into these future three machines uh because i'm going to start making uh, copper in here too uh, so these this coal is going to be delivered to these three machines once it's ready for now though trucks have to do everything that's very fuel intensive um it's just way more it, 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 it's just it's just not efficient right i don't want trucks to have to do everything and look at all this it's moving around and everything it's not great that way so um thankfully we now have some power delivered to that generator and we're about to have a second generator any minute now once these guys deliver all the parts there we go and now we can have this generator just pull its fuel directly from this tank that's gonna be very nice so we have extra power now it's beautiful so let's go ahead and make sure that the rest of the stuff that i turned off is now turned back on and yep looks pretty good we have six workers available but now we have almost everything we don't have this yet um and i kind of need that because this is gonna fill up yeah see we filled up on the output for the wastewater and so we can't make any more fuel until we get this built so this is now the new priority which is only 20 construction parts we actually have it so hopefully they deliver that pretty quickly um and then i might need to and i don't know exactly how fast the supply drains but um i can always put another row of of uh drills or wells right here right and then um i can have that feed into this storage even faster if needed um i planned on just having a pipe from this go straight out into the other distiller so i wasn't planning on having like another set of pipes so hopefully um we get to the point where we're actually net negative on this and we're, we're sucking out of this more than we're putting in and then i can just add more supply on the intake uh, for that that's what i would hope happens uh and maybe we maybe we should do that already just because this is probably going to take a lot of our fuel and then not to mention once we start repairing the shipyard and get the boat going this is going to need fuel too so as soon as we get this repaired um we're gonna we're gonna need a lot more fuel so i think that's probably the best the best solution we just start storing it early we start storing it now um so maybe even two tanks is okay here like two completely separate tanks i don't think that's a bad thing and um we could even i wonder if we can do this like a reserve like if we uh if i flip this over like this and i put this tank and i have a pipe feeding from that output into this input will it just send everything that goes in this tank will it just send it to this tank that's what i was hoping uh workers and resources would do but you needed a pump in between them i'm wondering if that's a thing oh you're coming way over here now yeah we definitely need fuel storage more local um, i'm thinking maybe we just put it over here we're gonna be a lot of mining here and so that might be that might be useful i, I know there was a station though um so I, i'm not i'm not sure that's the best cars course of action um but what i could do maybe is just get trucks to do it instead so the excavator doesn't have to the excavator doing this is really bad so um i don't know i'm tempted to put like a fuel depot right here and then just tell my guys to like keep this full or keep it more full that's a pretty tempting thing um i could even do it right between these that's not bad they don't have to go nearly as far if i do it that way so i could say uh well probably need to be back further i don't know i want to use the proper fuel stations but i think i think for the time being this is probably fine so we, we'll go like this uh and we'll say that there's an extra fuel station like right here right and we'll say fuel and we'll say i want you to keep it like this and so this will set up a 
a job basically to move fuel from here to here and um then the trucks that are all over here they don't have to come all the way over here to refuel because that's actually pretty wasteful and yeah we're, we're gonna need to produce more fuel for sure so i am i am wondering if that actually works going going like that but i'm not really i do want to store more than 180 fuel though let's let's do that actually we'll go like this and then like this I have no idea if this works. So this is a this is a gamble, right? It's a big old test to see if it works. Uh, I want transports. This pipe goes there. This pipe doesn't go here. Um, instead, this pipe goes here, right? Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll bring it over and go about like I guess it would be about here, right? Yeah, and then the wastewater has to go around, but that's easy to do, I think. Hmm. It's making me want to do it over here instead. Because of that wastewater. But it's kind of too late. I, I think I can get it up there. Let me let me just see it. If, if I do it in testing, well, it's gonna take a while to build, so let's not let's not stop time. Um, but if I if I was to go about like this. I don't have to line it up, but I think people will like me better. And I think people will like me better if I if I line it up. Uh, so we'll go up high. We need to go up high with it, right? So we'll say, you no, know, maybe, yeah, over like this, and then straight over like so. Uh huh. At least like that. And then this wastewater, yep, can now be to here. That's that's fine. Uh, ooh, can we just, yeah, eh, it doesn't look very good. It actually connects right here, though, doesn't it? No? It has to come over a little bit. Interesting. wonder if I, if I do this, right, just straight over. Straight down like this. Oh, you squiggly... You squiggly little shit. <laughs> okay. Well, it's okay. Um, I'll just... Uh, I'll just do what we were going to do before. Is over here like this. Yeah, and then it's going to be really squiggly. Well, that's not a bad... It, that, that didn't look too bad. Yeah. That actually looks fine. Because it wraps right around. I think that's pretty clean, actually. That works. So that'll be the wastewater out. This will be the fuel. And then the uh, smoke, our, our stack here like this, I guess, uh, will bring you up and bring you up like this. And then over like so. Probably at least this far. And then like so. Cool. And then the final thing is this pipe here, which I can just grab it. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's the thing. I have to, I have to go up high to make that happen. But I think this is fine. We can do it. Um, we'll go up higher. This is a height two. We need height two, so the trucks will go underneath it. Aw, why are you putting that extra stanchion there? That extra post. Don't do that. No, don't don't do that. Don't don't put the extra thing in there. We don't need that. Oh, what the heck, man? Come on now. Tell me you can just go from here to here. I mean, it's a double, but at least it looks clean still. That works for me. I'm I'm good with that. And that will deliver the oil, which is full here, over into this side. So we should now be sucking down oil a lot faster than we're producing it. Because this is already balanced for three. And uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's better. 20 seconds for 12. And this is creating four in 20 seconds. So, no, this is exactly what we needed. 
yeah um the only thing left to do here is to get coal to be in this area and that's right here so if i wanted to which i kind of do i guess i could get a loose storage tank and just sort of place the loose storage kind of like over here somewhere right pretty easy to do this and then we'll have this loose storage storing coal they can ship coal over here and then this will just go in with a conveyor all right so i, I want to see if this works the way i think it does so we're going to do fuel and we're going to do fuel so um what we should see and um i actually should tweak this now i should i should tweak this now to where uh the supply because the supply from this is going immediately into this tank but if this one fills then this one's gonna stop right so that's not good um so what we probably should do is redo this to where this supply is actually going to go all the way over into this tank and that way it starts here and comes through like that i think i should probably do that so now that all these tanks are built we can take this pipe away there's a there's a bit of a gap in my workflow here for this plan but once they oh can you get rid of this there we go all right so what i need to do now is have this go all the way across and pop into this this tank right here this this pipe right here it looks a little bit messy uh hang on oh interesting you know what maybe yeah because trucks keep trying to get to this and they don't need to it should be able to get to this one this one is it should be blocked off anyway yeah yeah so um i think i should be fine with blocking this so we'll go underneath. I can't I can't go underneath where this yeah I can right here. That's what I want right there. Yep, and then hook up to this pipe. Don't don't go don't go jagged like this. Oh I have to. Yeah, because of this this pipe bends up like that. Okay. No issue. We can make it work. Or maybe I can't. You know what? I should just do it however it wants to, right? Just let it do it however. However, it decides. It looks a little bit weird, but it's functional. Yeah, and no, I think this. I think that works out really nicely. Um, and actually, no, I like I, I like this better the other way. Hang on, try. Uh, well, I have to one way or another, right? It, unless I unless I end in the middle and have both tanks feed into the middle, then I have to have it go somewhere. So. It doesn't matter. We'll just have this pipe be priority, and that's going to call it a day. I'm actually going to quick deliver it, too. I want it up and running right now. So we'll spend a little bit of Unity, get it all delivered and built. Okay, so it's feeding in. Now, the thing is... Okay, so it looks like it's exiting this tank. And all ending up over here. Perfect. So it does work. So now we have three tanks, right? And um, we won't be able to pull it out of this one that's fine because we really only need to pull it out of this tank right here and if i really wanted to i don't but if i really wanted to i could have this exit and then just go into a, a fourth tank and then that could be where everybody goes and gets their fuel right here instead of having to travel this extra distance and then we'll just have tons of just tons of diesel which should be kind of cool uh only thing we need left is this basic distillery so um we'll get that set up and then once they build that we're going to need some extra oil, I think. So we'll go ahead and get another oil pump. Yeah, this this is okay. Um, we'll pump the oil from, let's say, a little bit further away. I don't I don't think we need to go super close. I'm not, I'm not sure if it matters. Um, like these little spots, right? They might be going down over time. I don't know if, if it's drawing from the entire reservoir or if it's only drawing from the part that it's over top of. I don't know that part yet, so I don't have the experience to know that yet. But I will do at least two more. Um, it should be three more. If, if I want to balance it, it should be three more. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on that to watch this storage, and if it starts to look like it's waiting, then I'll add a third, and it'll be fine. Uh, so we'll just add a pipe right here. Oh, you know what? Hmm. 
Yeah, actually, because it's because it's mirrored. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's, so it's mirrored. So I don't want to line it up. I don't want to line it up with the units. I want to line it up with the uh, with the joints. So we need where the heck did it go? Oil. Uh, right here. So I'm gonna line it up with these joints here. So I'm gonna go uh, like this. It lets me do this, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna do it here instead. Uh, we'll go like that, like that, and then one more over here. If I need to, I'll place that there. Right. So we'll pause that and we'll have them build these two, and then the pipes will go like this and like this. And that sets it up to just be delivered here. And from here, it goes to where it needs to go. And because we lifted this up, right, the tank, the trucks can get in the middle here because we lifted this up. So you have to lift it up at least two as a height, height of two, uh, in order to, in order to have that work. All right now, it says not enough workers, which you know what that means. It means beacon. <laughs> We need the beacon. And you might have noticed while we were doing this that conveyor belts are done. I've never used them in this game before, so I want to take a look at that. Uh, we're going to need electric assembly here, too. And I'm starting to... Yeah, let's unpause all of this. It's going to take a while, so we'll unpause all of this, and we'll have them build that. Uh, we're going to want to do a lot of, a lot of construction parts because... I guess where are the where are the belts? Is it transports? Yeah. So if we have flat conveyors, this takes the level twos. Yep. Okay, level twos. We need to build them, and that's that's our next focus is the level twos. But that is gonna be next time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we're uh, gonna expand our population. We're gonna get a little bit more. So once the beacon does its thing. Uh, I think we're producing enough food to keep up with that with three farms. We'll look at expanding to a fourth farm soon, and I, it might fit right here. It might. I hope it does. It does. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? We'll just put that in right now, but I'm, I'm going to pause it. But, um, you know, another farm can go right here. Um, we're going to... We have an extra food storage, which has extra food in it. Perfect. So we don't have to wait. We have that little extra food. Which means this is full indeed it is when that starts losing um then they'll start pulling off of this and so we'll just need to keep an eye on this and if we ever see this empty then we'll know that we're not keeping up with food and we can start addressing it quicker right so that's how we're going to do it um that's going to do it for me guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it in three months we'll have extra people and then this extra distillery will be working all is well we're, at, we're doing good maintenance everything is flowing I'm liking it. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? Even the diesel is over here now, and these trucks can, can go over here to refuel themselves. Isn't that nice? All right. Take it easy. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.